Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about some almost O-day SMB vulnerabilities. Last week in a video I talked about how the Shadow Brokers, an unknown hacker group, released their second dump containing tools from the alleged NSA hackers called the Equation Group. If you want to know more about the history of the Shadow Broker leak, be sure to check out that video. In any case, in that video, I mentioned that researchers were still poring over all the files in this particular leak, and the only big thing they found so far was a major Solaris vulnerability. However, over the weekend, other researchers claimed to have found 12 previously undiscovered vulnerabilities in Windows's SMB service. If you haven't heard of SMB, it stands for Server Message Block, and it's one of the protocols or services Windows uses for file sharing. In any case, the researchers mentioned there were 12 significant vulnerabilities in various versions of Windows, including what they said were up-to-date versions of Windows that could allow bad guys to remotely exploit Windows computers over the network. SMB vulnerabilities are a very big deal. Threats like Configure have used major SMB vulnerabilities in the past in order to spread automatically. Now that said, there's a lot of good news associated with this particular issue. First of all, one of the things about about SMB is it's not exposed to the internet much. Most Windows administrators know enough to firewall this Windows sharing service so that it really is only a internal threat. That said, it still could be a big one. If any sort of malware infects your computer, they often leverage SMB flaws to spread automatically inside your network, and that might be something a ransomware could do. However, the even better news is it turns out these are no longer zero-day vulnerabilities. Microsoft has responded to this post and apparently back in March, they actually silently updated many of these vulnerabilities in their Microsoft patch day. And since they really don't share bulletins in the same way they used to, it might have been hard to find, but these vulnerabilities are already patched. So the takeaway here is simple. Don't allow Windows file sharing through your network. And more importantly, if you haven't uh, installed Microsoft's latest patches, including the ones from April, go do that as soon as possible. Anyways, just thought it was an interesting update. That's it for today's story. Thanks for watching.